Hi everyone, welcome or welcome back to the Kia Hyundai channel. My name is Gabby and today we're doing another Kia class. Now this video was so, so fun to film. We're gonna be doing the rear cross traffic collision avoidance assist. And that was a mouthful, but basically this is a feature that can prevent a rear collision. So if you're in a parking lot um, and a vehicle is coming up behind you, it can hit the brakes and potentially mitigate a collision for you. So we practiced this with my manager and with my personal vehicle. It was so much fun to film. You're definitely gonna wanna stay till the end. First, we're gonna get into the nitty gritty stuff, like how it works and how to turn it on to make sure it is on, <laughs> starting now. <laughs> So if your vehicle is equipped with the eight inch touchscreen, your driver assistant settings will not be in your screen here. They're gonna be located in your cluster right out front there. So to control those settings, you're gonna press this um, almost notepad-ish button and cycle, 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 driver assistance. Use these um, arrows to select, so okay. We're gonna go down, 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 down until we see rear cross traffic collision avoidance or warning. Um, in this vehicle, it's only equip, uh, equipped with the warning, but you just wanna make sure it's on. In the vehicle that we are showing today, it does have the full assistance. So we've got that on, we're all good to go in this vehicle. Now I'm gonna show you what it's like if you have the larger touch screen, how to set it up there. So now if your Kia or Hyundai vehicle is equipped with the larger 10 and a quarter inch screen, your driver settings are gonna be located in the actual screen. So to get there, you can either press setup over here or there, it'll both take you to the same menu. So setup, vehicle, and then driving convenience or driver assistance. Then you're gonna to wanna to scroll down to parking safety and you wanna make sure that your rear active assist is on. If you have it on warning only, like I said in our um, last clip, it'll only give you a warning. It won't actually hit the brakes for you. So all that's on you. So we'll make sure that's on. If it's off, it, let's say you don't like it at all, you can totally turn it off, but we're needed on for today. So right now I'm showing you it on the EV6, but what we're actually gonna be filming today is the carnival and we'll get into that in our next clip. All right, so now we are in our back parking lot with the Kia Carnival. I chose this vehicle because it's our biggest vehicle. Um, a lot of times if you have a bunch of passengers in here or just a bunch of stuff in your trunk, you might not be able to see what's around you too well. That's when something like rear cross traffic collision avoidance comes into play, very, very useful. So I'm gonna show you the radar sensors, where they are and how they work. So right on the very back bumper here, you'll see these circular sensors. That's gonna be our radar sensor. It'll pick up movement behind you. So pedestrians, cyclists, um, other vehicles. It'll warn you even uh, garbage cans or snow banks. So I've used it in uh, my personal vehicle where it's triggered the brakes because I got very close to a garbage can. I knew the can was there, but then again, if it's a pedestrian or a car that you weren't too aware of, it's very, very useful. So that's all along the rear end of the vehicle. Now we're gonna show you how it works. We're gonna sacrifice my vehicle and my manager. So now we're outside. I have our general manager, Mr. Tim Gross. Tim Gross with us. He's gonna be demonstrating running behind us. So we're gonna sacrifice him as well as my vehicle. So he's gonna be driving the Forte behind to show that not only does the rear cross traffic collision avoidance work with pedestrians, but also vehicles. We'll get into it right now. <laughs> so there it goes. <laughs> so now we're in the driver's seat of the Carnival. A lot of Kia vehicles and Hyundai vehicles have this feature, but we just thought the Carnival's our biggest. It's probably the most useful to demonstrate this feature. I just want to show you, we need to make sure that it's on. So you go to your setup menu, vehicle over here. And then if we scroll down, we go to parking safety. You wanna make sure that the active assist is on, so rear cross traffic safety is on, and then active assist. You can also have a warning only, which won't break for you, but it'll give you an alert that there is the potential for a collision. Now, last time we tried filming this, we didn't have this on, and look what happened. Ouch, just kidding. <laughs> so you definitely wanna make sure it's on. Now we're gonna put it to the test. We're gonna throw it into reverse. I wanna make sure Tim's ready. Rear lights are on. And, woo, it braked. <laughs> so it's a little crazy. And then it lets me go again. So it stops for you if you don't brake for yourself. Now I'll move it back up. And we are gonna test what it looks like with Tim running. So we're gonna make him work today. Okay, so now we're gonna attempt to hit my manager. He's just standing out there. We got another car going on. There's a lot of things going on over here. So, oh. Oh, there we go. <laughs> he 
he is so brave. <laughs> So that concludes our rear cross traffic alert avoidance collision assist. I almost died. <laughs> he almost died, but it was totally worth it because now you get to see how great this feature is and how well it works. Make sure you turn it on so you don't end up like that over there. Oops. Stay tuned for our next Kia class, and I hope you like and comment on this video. Thank you.